CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. It's the biggest computer software company in the world and wants to come and play on Vancouver Island. Microsoft will open a game design studio in downtown Victoria early next year. With billions of dollars in sales, 90,000 employees around the world, and a virtual lock on consumer and business software, there is no bigger player in the computer world. Climate and lifestyle are part of the lure to Victoria, but so too is the booming high-tech sector. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. Boss, I see movement outside your structure. It's nope. one of the most recognizable video game franchises ever made. Halo for the Xbox. That's great. And its creators want to move to Victoria. It's got a fabulous world-class quality of life. Uh, it's got all kinds of sources of great, young, intelligent talent in the local schools. Uh, it has actually proximity to uh, a lot of the industry, really. Roughly half of Microsoft's production is done out of Redmond, Washington. Now the company is heading north with plans to add 60 Victoria-based employees to its payroll by January. Up until recently, very few people talked about whether or not there's a technology sector in Victoria, and it wasn't widely known. That appears to be changing, especially with a big name in town adding to what's been a quietly productive industry. We, uh, we have the largest industry in Victoria. It's taken over from tourism and government, and uh, it's, it's not as, as public as, uh, as everybody knows, but it's slowly starting to make it. Microsoft argues it already has. Um, but really, it's, it's very surprising to me how easy a sell it has been to reach out to, to talent to either move back to Victoria or even finding talent here in Victoria itself. It's really just everywhere. Victoria has long been a hub for video game production, but nothing on this scale. The company fully expects that within a couple years, games will be on the market, created start to finish in Victoria. Well, it's unclear what games Microsoft will be making here in Victoria. Early indications are the company won't be limiting itself. Victoria will be home to new games for everything from the tablet to the smartphone. And, of course, Microsoft's own gaming console, the Xbox 360. We have two universities and a college that are generating some top talent that are coming out of them. We have eight federal research labs in Greater Victoria. Um, and all of that creates an infrastructure and an ecosystem that allows innovation to take place. Innovation that Microsoft has noticed on the island and wants to be a part of. It's, I think it's just a long way coming and I think that more and more companies are, are slowly going to start to realize that um, you know making sure that their employees are happy where they're living and, and finding the right type of balance between lifestyle and, and those creative people uh, I think that more and more companies are going to are, are going to come over here. Uh. In January Microsoft will officially open its doors in Victoria. It will be a tech hub with a focus on games. A line of work that appears to be growing and winning on the island. And Joe Perkins joins us live in Studio A. Joe, uh, no shortage of tech expertise here. Has the hiring process begun and what about people who'd like to apply? The company has already started looking for people. A team of eight Microsoft employees are here in town right now working in a temporary office. Within the next couple of weeks, a career page is expected to be set up on Microsoft's website for people uh, wanting to apply online. Headhunting companies have also started looking for possible hires. The good news for the island Hudson, Microsoft says it hopes to find at least half of the people it intends to hire right here in Victoria. All right, Joe Perkins reporting. Joe, thanks. You're welcome.